Good afternoon and greetings from Berlin, where I am recording this presentation for TED Week 2023. My name is Giuditta and I am a data scientist working for the Natural History Museum in Berlin. I will be talking about sustainability in biodiversity informatics and how smart goals, that is goals that are specific, measurable, assignable, realistic and time-related, can help to set up a sustainability plan. I would like to start introducing the concept of sustainability and why it has become a concept of general relevance. The best starting point to talk about sustainability is the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development set up by the United Nations. The agenda includes 17 sustainable development goals, which range from ending poverty to stopping biodiversity loss. The United Nations emphasizes that the goals are integrated and indivisible and they balance the three dimensions of sustainable development, the economic, social and environmental. These three dimensions can also be named under three E's, environment, equity and economics, and are a distinctive feature of sustainability in and beyond sustainable development. You probably want to know now why sustainability is relevant in biodiversity informatics and why it is important to set sustainability targets for the data infrastructures in biodiversity. First of all, please bear in mind that data-driven research has had a tenfold increase in biodiversity science over the past decade. Only with sustainable data infrastructures, biodiversity science can manage this trend and guarantee that scientific institutions do not go bankrupt to pay for their data storage, biodiversity data have an acceptable carbon footprint, and those stakeholders, rich and poor, can access biodiversity data. The word sustainability is not unknown in biodiversity informatics. I believe many of you already heard about it. But one main issue is that sustainability discussions in biodiversity informatics do not interlink all three dimensions of sustainability currently. They rather focus on the economic dimension. In addition, there is no systematic use of practices like green IT, that is to say adopting hardware and software solutions that pay attention to their environmental impact. Um, with, uh, adopting green IT is not uh, a, a widespread practice uh, in uh, biodiversity informatics, although it is considered a best practice uh, to pursue sustainability in ICT. Biodiversity informatics uh, is also lacking a systematic and long-term sustainability plan with defined targets and metrics uh, to measure the achievements of these targets. Using smart goals can help to address these uh, shortcomings. The concept of smart goals was introduced during the 1980s by George Duran, a US management consultant. The S in SMART stays for specific. Generic statements like we are going to do better next year are not smart because they do not indicate the area to improve. The M in SMART stays for measurable because you always need to have an indicator of progress in the achievement of a SMART goal. And the A stays for assignable, that is to say there is someone who is responsible and can be held accountable for the achievement of this goal. In addition, a smart goal must be realistic, that is to say it must consider the expertise of the organization and the resources available and be compatible with them. It must uh, be also time-related, which means it must be possible to state the date for the achievement of the expected results. Dorana repeatedly stresses that what is, what is valuable about SMART goals is that they bring together an objective and the action plan to achieve it, and this is precisely required for implementing an effective sustainability strategy in biodiversity informatics, as I will discuss with the three examples. The first SMART goal I want to discuss is increasing energy efficiency of computing hardware in data centers. Here I refer mainly to the smaller data centers run by universities and research institutions, but this is applicable also to the bigger data centers. This is a relevant goal because data centers are constantly increasing their energy consumption with clear environmental and financial implications for research fields like biodiversity science that are more and more data driven. Is this goal smart? The answer is yes, because it clearly identifies the area of intervention, that is the hardware used in data centers. It is also measurable because the energy consumption is known. 
The energy consumed before and after hardware replacement can be compared to see how significant the reduction is. The goal is also assignable because data center managers are in charge of this transformation. The goal is realistic because there are known strategies to increase hardware efficiency in data centers, such as improving cooling systems or replacing CPUs with more efficient GPUs. The goal is also time-related because data center managers can draw a roadmap for this transformation. This goal is a relevant sustainability goal because lowering energy consumption is evidently beneficial for the budget of institutions running data centers, but it has clear environmental implications as well because it lowers the carbon footprint of biodiversity informatics. Another relevant sustainability goal for biodiversity informatics is to reduce data storage costs. The goal is relevant because the increase in the amount of biodiversity data is really significant and the costs associated are equally relevant. This is again a smart goal because it clearly identifies the area of intervention. It is also measurable because the cost reduction per terabyte can be quantified and assignable because data managers are the people in charge of choosing different technologies, storage type and service provider, for instance, in order to lower the cost. It is definitely a realistic goal as cost reduction can be achieved with multiple strategies, like selecting appropriate storage options on cloud on-premises, opting for a cheaper service provider, adopting compressed data formats, avoiding data redundancy. It is also a goal for which a timeline can be established, for instance, according to budget needs. The achievement of this goal has clear economic benefits, but also increases the social sustainability of biodiversity informatics because it makes data-driven research affordable even for organizations with limited financial means. The last goal I would like to discuss is decreasing API response and the bandwidth of data transmission. This is certainly a relevant topic for biodiversity informatics because data sharing is a key commitment in biodiversity science. And API response time and data transmission bandwidth control whether users will be able to access immediately and download satisfactory, satisfactorily the data they are interested in. This is again a smart goal because it clearly identifies the area of intervention. It is measurable because API response time and data transmission bandwidth are measurable quantities whose variation can be compared to measure the goal achievement. It is assignable because software developers and project managers involved in the, de in the design of APIs are responsible for achieving this goal. It is also a realistic goal because you can implement strategies like caching and concurrency to design more performing APIs, and you can pass data in compressed formats to save, to save bandwidth. It is definitely a time-related goal because you can, set, you can use project management strategies like Agile to set up a timeline for achieving results step by step. Improving API performance increases the social sustainability of biodiversity informatics because it promotes uncomplicated data access for all stakeholders interested in biodiversity data. It also lowers energy consumption for downloading data, benefiting the environment. In conclusion, I would like to make two comments. The first one, and I hope you will agree with me, is that developing sustainable data infrastructures is a must for biodiversity informatics and not a nice to have option. Sustainability cannot be equated to proper budgeting, but means bringing together the three dimensions discussed, the social, the economic and the environmental, interlink them and develop solutions that satisfy them all, as these dimensions are integrated and indivisible when one considers sustainability. The second point is that to achieve this result, one really needs a plan of action. Smart goals are an instrument to define this plan of action, but certainly they are not the only instrument. Regardless of the instrument chosen, however, this plan of action must include targets, strategies to achieve these targets, and metrics to measure progress. I sincerely thank you for attending my talk. I hope it offered some food for thought about sustainability and why it is relevant in biodiversity informatics, and how smart goals can help in setting sustainability targets. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. My contact details are available here.